Hi YouTube, this is Bryn. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click that like, subscribe, and comment because we're all friends on this channel. Um, so for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my piercings, mainly my rook piercing. Um, I have a lot of pros and cons. Sorry, my makeup is just... Okay. I have a lot of pros and cons about this tattoo. It is my rook piercing. It is so stinking darling, you guys. I love it so much. I think it was worth the headache, the constant headache. <laughs> so I got it about three years ago now. Um, it was my first and last cartilage piercing, you guys. Um, when I first got it pierced, I was like, ready? You know, he was like, are you ready? I was like, yes, I am. I was preparing for it to hurt because it's a cartilage piercing. And he was like, okay, one, two, psh. And then I was like, ow, that's, that was literally what I did. I was so confused. I was like, ow, like I thought it was going to hurt, but it, it didn't, it did not hurt at all. However, the next two years of your life, it's going to hurt. It's going to get infected. You're going to, it, the healing process sucks. I'm not even going to lie. The healing process completely sucks. Um, there's been plenty of times, plenty of times where I was like, I need to take this out of my ear. I need it to just heal. I need it the pain to go away. Um, thankfully, I'm so happy I didn't because the two year mark is when it officially healed itself. And I'm so happy about that. Um, the things that will be your best friend, go ahead and take some Tylenol for the pain and the swelling. Um, go ahead. And I always did back teen spray. So I would both do the whole, um, sea, the warm water sea salt rinse. I would usually like dunk my ear in it for like a few minutes as long as you can. Burning hot water is what I did. That was probably not the smartest thing, but that's what I did. Um, and yeah, afterwards I would dry it with like a little Q-tip and then I'd spray it as well. Um, that definitely helps the infection go down. It helps the swelling. It helps you just not hurt as much. Um, I don't know why I had such an issue with it. I have no idea why. Um, but I did and I didn't look up reviews or anything online before I had this piercing and maybe I should have. I just thought it was cute. So I wanted it. <laughs> um, I am very happy I got it all in all, you know, I think it's so, like I said, it looks so darling. It's so cute. It's so simple. It's not trashy. It's not too much. It's such a cute little piercing in my opinion. Um, on top of that, I do have like little small gauges. I want to say these are sixes or eight no not eight it has to be six it's either six or four and I want to say it's four I think it's six <laughs> I forgot where I like ended up at but I've always wanted these ever since um like in my middle holes ever since I was in high school and then I had to take them out this was also my problem here this always got infected when I was stretching them um, but thankfully now they're silicone. I don't have to worry about it because I did the same exact process with my rook piercing. So when it got infected, I always did like the Bactine spray and I always like dunked my ear. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have ever had a rook piercing. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Let me know. I will definitely answer them for you. Um, this was a very broad kind of video, just touching base on the piercing itself. Um, but I adore it. And yeah just let me know you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like me and i will talk to you guys soon bye